Hey, what's up guys? So yesterday was pretty interesting, wasn't it? Uh, finally had a chance to reveal the news about uh, Cooney leaving Uniden and heading over to Redenso. Uh, now, after I published the video, there were a lot of questions and concerns about, uh, you know, what does this mean for Uniden? If I own a Uniden detector already, like an R3, what's going to happen to it? What's going to expect, you know, what can I expect in the future? What about future customer service and support and firmware updates? And what about the R7? Is that going to suddenly suck or anything? So I pretty much want to address all this kind of stuff, give you guys a little bit more information about uh, Cooney, his role in kind of the big picture, grand scheme of things, and uh, also kind of how that will affect us moving forward. Spoiler alert, uh, yes, while of course it does affect some things, I honestly don't think it'll be that big of a deal once you start taking a look at some of the details. And uh, I think once you guys learn a little bit more, it's gonna help kind of everybody rest a little bit easier. So uh, with that said, let's dive right into it. Uh, so starting off with Cooney. Yes, he's the only guy at Uniden who uh, actually works on radar detectors, but that doesn't mean that he's the only person who is working on the radar detector itself. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, he's partnered with other companies to do the uh, engineering, the development. Uh, he partnered with uh, kind of designers to do the physical design of the detector. His role at Uniden is the uh, director of product development and marketing. You can kind of think of him as like the uh, captain of the ship. He's not the one who's actually, you know, making the ship go, but he's the one who's directing the crew, right? So yes, while he's the only person at Uniden, as weird as that sounds once you first find out who's working on the radar detector, that doesn't mean that he's the only person there. Uh, and that's also really good for us because, uh, because of the fact that, you know, the company that he's working with that actually does the engineering, that does the development, that physically builds the detectors and, you know, updates according to the specs, and requirements that he gives them, um, they're the ones that can, well, keep doing that. And uh, Uniden at this point, they're already looking to bring somebody else on board to basically replace Cooney, right? They're gonna have to, it totally makes sense. And so because of that, this person can just kind of come on board. We already have the same people on board who've been creating the detector. Maybe they weren't the ones, you know, like the upper guys uh, kind of driving all the decisions and everything, but they were the ones who uh, were actually implementing this stuff, right? Now, since those guys are staying on board, Uniden's going to have somebody else come on board and, uh, well, we're going to have a new captain of the ship, so to speak. And uh, it would make total sense that uh, the new captain to come on is probably not going to want to rock the ship too much. You know, they got a good thing going with the R3 and the R7, so it would totally make sense to just maintain the same trajectory, right? So uh, because of that, yeah, all the updates for the R3 and stuff, that's going to continue. We're just going to have somebody else, you know, calling the shots as far as, you know, should the priority be given to these features or that feature or, you know, talking to the customers, that kind of stuff. So there's going to be somebody else who's calling the shots, but ultimately the updates are going to continue. Uniden still has an exclusive license to the R series platform for windshield mount detectors. So it's not like uh, Cooney going to another company means that, uh, you know, like Redenso is suddenly going to get the R series or anything. That's still, of course, a Uniden product. And it just means somebody else is going to be in charge. Uh, it's pretty common in any industry for people to change companies. You know, that's not a Uniden thing. That's not even a radar detector thing. It's just anywhere. People change companies from time to time. And when that happens, somebody else has to come in and take over for that role, you know? And so it's great news knowing that uh, the R3, yes, it's going to continue to be supported. We've still got the same, you know, customer service. Uh, we've still got the same engineers. We've still got all the same people who designed and built the detector. It's just a different captain of the ship, so to speak. Now, as far as the R7, well, all that stuff, similar, um, because Cooney was going to be leaving, he wanted to make sure that he had, you know, as much in place as possible before he left. And so, yeah, he's been hard at work. The R7 is kind of his baby, you know? And so just uh, wanting to get everything in place, uh, once he's gone, you know, the R7 is there. And so, um, yes, of course, you know, we're going to have somebody ultimately down the line replacing him as far as uh, future updates down the line. But uh that detector is not even going to launch for a couple of months, you know? And so Uniden has time to bring somebody else in and kind of keep the ball rolling with everything that's already been done up to this point. So I guess kind of taking a look at the big picture, while yes, there's certainly some uh, some questions as far as like, okay, well, if somebody else jumps in and, uh, you know, kind of takes over for him, they may have a different direction as far as what features to implement and stuff, but the features are still going to be implemented. Firmware updates are still going to continue. Support's going to continue. The detectors are still going to be out there available and they're still going to be awesome, you know? And so while yes, there's certainly some question marks as far as what to expect in the future, I don't even know how many of those things we as consumers, the end users are even going to see if somebody else is saying, hey, company, go implement this feature and we get it just like before and then the updates get posted on Unity's website. Will we even notice that there's been changes? Not necessarily. And I think in this instance, it's great that uh, it's not the actual engineers that are going. Um, it's kind of the guy in charge who is now going to another company. And so that's why 
I'm honestly not that concerned about it. Um, yeah, of course it's big news, it's a big deal, and nobody's gonna pretend otherwise, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't know if it'll actually be that big of a deal. And so in this video, I just kind of wanted to share a little bit more background as far as, you know, Cooney's role. A lot of you guys were wondering, you know, what does he do? Is he the engineer? Yes, he was in charge, but is he the one who like thought up in everything? And because he's the only guy at Uniden, uh, does that mean that like all of the brains behind the radar detectors are gone? Not necessarily, again, because of the fact that, uh, you know, there's so many other people that are involved outside of Uniden that will have a very hands-on role with the creation of the R series and the other detectors. And it's for that reason that I'm not that concerned. And well, I kind of wanted to share a little bit more information with you guys as far as the specifics on his role, uh, some of the things going on behind the scenes and kind of what we can expect moving on down the line. So um, of course I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict the future or anything, but just kind of taking a look at how things stand. Well, that's, well, kind of how things stand as far as the unit and department. So um, anyway, uh, a great area for discussion. If you guys have questions, of course, you can leave comments down here in the, um, not in the video description, just down in the comments to this video, but uh, even better than that, uh, down in the video description, I'm gonna link to the uh, discussion area on the forums where we're discussing all this stuff. And that's, I think, actually the best place to read over all this kind of stuff, whether it's speculation or ideas or things where we actually get something more concrete like this, uh, as far as information on what's going on, what we can expect, and just discussion in general. I think that's gonna be really helpful for you guys. So uh, anyways, yeah, just wanted to share a little bit more information with you guys, just give a little bit more clarity on the situation, maybe focusing less for this video on kind of the overall context um, you know, in the other one, I talked about the LRD 950 and things that kind of led up to it and what the guy had done. Um, and this one, I want to get kind of more into the details, as you can see. So hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully this helps uh, kind of address some of the issues and uh, bring a little bit more light to the situation. So awesome. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you in the next video.